So in this match, you're laning against Zeus, right? Yes, yes. And how did you find such lane? Was it easy? Was it hard? Was it unfamiliar to you? Um, it was sort of hard because of, he can do a lot of damage to me at the early levels. All right, well, let's see how he did. Vision looks good. Again, Zeus you can also place uh, the ward right here. It's unlikely he will check it. Usually, Zeus is likely to check for wards. Oh, that's good. So, yeah, again, Zeus uh, just avoid placing it in the middle, which you didn't, so all good, all good. Just a general okay. tip. Now let's, let's see the laning. Let's also rewind a bit. Yeah, this is also good. Against Zeus, uh, it doesn't matter if you block or not, so you can always help your team to take this rune. So in this oh, match, yeah. that's great, you did great. Again, just a general tip for maybe viewers, not anything related to this match. Okay, okay. And now, for the third attempt, we'll see the laning. So first mistake, you've just spent 200 gold to finish null, when in reality it doesn't really help you to do much of anything, it's just a little bit more stats, a little bit more, more region, but against Zeus, like you said, he will deal a lot of damage, so in this case, you might want to avoid finishing Nell right away, maybe save up for a battle, maybe get more tangos, maybe get a self, uh, maybe even a wand, but uh, do not spend additional gold on components. Okay. I'm not gonna dwell much about uh, the last hitting capabilities. Um, different players, different MMR players have different mechanical levels, so we'll just focus on the macro gaming scale for this okay. session. Alright, uh, let me know what exactly were you doing in this particular moment, just uh, walking back and forth. What was your plan here? Um... I think I was trying to... I was too... I, I don't know why I was doing that, yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah, sometimes you zone out, yeah, it happens, no problem. The correct move would be to... you have the high ground advantage right now, so you can sink in a few right clicks into Zeus. That's a good moment to do so. Okay, okay. As a storm, whenever you have high ground advantage, even in unfamiliar matchups, the high ground means you you can either more safely push out a lane if your goal is to push out a lane, or to sink in a few right clicks if your goal is to trade with the enemy. If, for example, the enemy does not have many much region items. Okay. In this case, Zeus has tangos, so he's he came prepared. So I wouldn't advise in this particular situation to trade. So if the opponent has better region and better sustained capabilities, your best course of action is to just go into the middle of the creep wave and push. Okay. And what you're doing right now is playing a little bit too passive and Zeus can abuse this and out trade the resources with the region with you. And again, you're doing this little dance back and forth for a few seconds. Oh uh, yeah. I think this is gonna be your biggest downfall in the future. So that's something you might wanna take a note at and to notice yourself doing and try to avoid this in the future. Yeah, okay. Okay, where the hell is Zeus now? Um, he was killing oh. up. Yeah. Okay, he's, 
he's not playing very well as well. He just gave up the region advantage to go kill a small camp at level 2, that's not good for Zeus. Yeah. So, as a Storm player, what you will want to do in the, in the long run, uh, you'll want to take note of every single mid matchup and what can they do to you. Like, against, okay. against Zeus, all he has against you is very slow right clicks and mana dependent uh, spells. As you can see, Zeus is almost out of mana. Just one more yeah. spell and, and he's out. And he's also leveling Q, which isn't a lot of damage compared to the Bolt. So, can you tell me? Uh, if you were to trade that now, who would come out on top? Uh, me, yeah. Absolutely you. So in, in this case, if you notice that you're way stronger at the moment f uh, than the opponent, like, you're, you have the high ground, you have almost full, well, not full, 60% health and, and full mana, in this case, what you would have done perfectly, you would have skilled Vortex at level 3, moved down the river, and just performed a combo on him. And then he wouldn't be able to lane, it for, to lane against you for a few minutes. Yeah, yeah. You're right. Yeah, these things are basically the mid player's package to just keep checking opponent, keep checking the status of the mid lane, where are where you are, where the enemy is, uh, what's the items, what's the mana. Yeah, okay. Right now we have the advantage. And and look, as you can see, this use is using the clarity. So ideally, again, he if, he, if Zeus is using clarity, what does he not want you to do? Hit him. Exactly. So what you can do, it's just to walk around to his high ground. And now Zeus has two options. He will either get hit and lose clarity, or he will not be able to prevent any denies or less hits from your end. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's a smart move. Okay, that's a good deny. You saw this opportunity for a deny and you took the deny. Uh, but for the for the future, for the way of thinking, you will want to create create situations where you will prepare the creeps to be denied. For example, uh, use the aggro, drag enemy creeps onto your range creep, and this time you're actively making the deny happen, instead of just seeing the opportunity. You are creating this opportunity. Yeah, okay. But as for the very future, it's, it's quite complex. For this session, we'll just focus on the simpler things, like yeah, okay. against Zeus, how to trade, how, how to recognize opportunities where you can Im impair his laning, like with the clarity deny and stuff. Oh yeah. In this moment right here, if you see that Zeus is not in the lane, uh, what do you think you should do? Missing. Um, Excuse me? Push out, push out yeah. the lane and then farm a jungle or something? Uh, the fir the, let's focus on the first part. When you push out the lane and the opposing mid laner is not there, uh, this means at least one, two, maybe three creeps will get denied. And especially in this scenario, let's rewind a bit. This use. Again, he doesn't have a lot of mana, he will take a while to clear this camp. So what you can do, ideally, the ideal play in this situation is just nuke the wave in a few hits, and then just walk up right here. Right here. Uh -huh. so, what, so what happens is, if Zeus wants these creeps, he will have to move past you, and remember, he cannot trade versus you, especially with the Vortex. So by recognizing this opportunity, not only will you deny Zeus maybe four creeps, 
I mean, he will deny Zeus for creeps. At the very least, at the very best, he will try to contest you. He will lose all health, maybe even die. So, in the future, if you see someone very weak, in this case Zeus, just absent from the lane, and you know where he is, I mean, in this match you might not know where he is, but if you saw him walk, or if you can make an educated guess where he is, that's a great opportunity to just threaten him. Yeah, okay. Uh, so, so far am I speaking in clear terms, or...? Is yeah, it yeah I understand bit... everything. Okay, beautiful, yeah. yeah. I mean, what you're doing is also good. You've pushed out the wave and, and got, got, got a few last hits. It's a viable play if the opponent is someone you cannot threaten. Yeah, yeah. But against Zeus, you, can, you always have kill potential. So against opponents where you have kill potential, if they are, for example, weak, maybe you have a roamer, you can actively play to weaken their lane. Okay. If not, yeah, just jungle. Jungling is fine. About the item build, I think you're doing everything correctly. Nothing to comment here. Except for the null. You didn't have to finish null. Yeah, okay. So yeah, the biggest takeaways from the laning stage is against someone like Zeus, you're playing a bit too passively. Yeah, okay. But otherwise, even so, you are 500 gold ahead of him, so this laning phase went absolutely fine. Do you have any particular questions about this laning phase? Uh, uh, you already mentioned everything, yeah, it's, okay. it's good. Okay, beautiful. Usually with a double damage rune, you also might want to create opportunities where you would use it on more than just jungle creeps. Ideally, in this case, again, you would just walk up to Zeus and sink in a few right clicks. Double damage storm with, with overloads. Oh, you don't have much overloads. Well, still, even at level 1, 2, 3 hits will take away half of Zeus's HP. And if you hit level 6, that's a kill. Uh, okay. So again with the runes, uh, arcane rune, double damage rune against Zeus, you can always uh, utilize some of its duration to weaken the enemy in preparation for a kill. Now in this moment, do you see anything in particular which you missed to do? Overall in the lane? Uh, the runes? Hmm... No, B before that, one minute backwards. Um, Once you hit level 6, what do you want to do? Roll? Come again? Or try to, try to kill the Zeus? Yes, and if you want to properly kill the Zeus, you must have vision. And your ward has expired and you did not put up a new one. And okay. vision in the mid lane is your top priority also. If you know where Zeus is, you will have extremely good kill potential. If you know his oh, movements. Yeah. So as soon as you're sending yourself item after minute 5, just... Or before minute 5, minute 4 even. Minute 4, minute 5, minute 6, just uh, the ward is free. Take a ward with the item. And then place it whenever. Uh -huh. So right now the mid lane is very empty. You don't see Zeus, you don't see the runes. So that's not good for Storm. Okay, yeah. Missing middle. A bit. Did Tony communicate with you about this gang? No, no, no. So as soon as Tony reveals Zeus is there, which is about now, 
Did you notice uh, as well, or were you focused on the lane creeps? Uh, I think I was focused on the lane creeps, yeah. Okay, so another good habit to build as a storm, or any mid laner really, is always, if you're not doing anything micro, micro intensive, if you're just last hitting lane creeps, always spare a few uh, a millisecond to glance at the minimap. Especially if you have a roamer that is looking for kills in this time, Tony. Like, if you see the Tony walk into the river, uh, going high ground, you know he's looking for targets and you know Zeus is around the mid lane. So ideally what should have happened is as soon as Tony revealed Zeus, you should have also registered it uh, on the minimap and moved in with Tony closer for a kill. And this, this, this way not only are you 100% getting a kill without interruption, but you're also saving mana in the process. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here, yeah, I was already forced to do it because yeah. he was so far, yeah. In this case, you do get a kill, but it's such a waste of mana. Yeah, yeah, but... And if you have had a ward, you could also ward right here. Because you know enemy has uh, heroes that will want to jungle soon, which in this case is Drow, and that's a super easy kill for Storm. Yeah, okay, okay. Yeah, that's another thing for the future. Uh, take note of what enemy heroes they have, and where they would like to be. Like from, from this picks, from these picks, you know that Drow is a weak laner, she will want to jungle, jungle after the laning lane phase is over, so just ward yourself or ask for supports to ward whatever she would like to farm and just farm her yeah 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 That'll take the wind from their sails. your orchid timing seems really good i'm jealous oh yeah I mean, mechanically, you, even though you're not doing much with the aggro management, you, you're pretty good at getting the last hits. So your farm isn't suffering. Yeah. Whoa, look at that. Never stay below 50% health pool against a Zeus, especially if you don't have vision on him. Ultimate plus Bolt plus Q, you should have died there. You should have died. You're lucky. Yeah, he didn't kill me right away. Yes. I think these kind of mistakes you can notice yourself and make uh, make notes of it. Not me. Don't need me telling you. Yeah. Okay. Like you almost died, and you and you say to yourself, "Whoa, that was a bit too low. I should stay against Zeus. I should stay a little bit a bit higher HP." I go away. Yeah. Mental notes. Okay, you run you run out of health, you run out of mana, and you're using the rest of the arcane rune to get back to base and refill. That's good. What's not good is that you've just sabotaged your great orchid timing by unnecessarily upgrading wand and getting rain traps. You don't need those. You're no longer you're no longer laning against Zeus. You're just pushing out and farming jungle. So getting full wand, getting rain traps is a waste of gold. When the orchid uh, is sensitive, that's a massive mistake. Okay, yeah, yeah. If you're rushing orchid, you must rush it. Do not spend gold on unnecessary items. Okay, now let me know what was your plan here. To gank the draw. With the double damage, yeah? Yeah, yeah. In this case, you chose the worst possible route. The enemy could have vision here. The enemy could have vision here. And you're just walking along the river, where you, sh in, in a, in a good, in a match with good opponents, you will, one hundred percent be spotted. And I think Wiper might have spotted you here. Yeah, yeah. Also. Uh... I also wanted to check the rune, maybe I could have gotten it. Yeah. That's why I passed through there, yeah. That as well. 
Ideally, I, I would say don't even gank at all, but if you, if you chose to gank, uh, choose routes where you're less likely to be spotted. Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah, you're right. Okay, I should so keep I that in mind. Yeah, I think he saw me and he, he, he already backed out. Yeah, that's possible. Also possible that she just got a tower and it was too risky to stay in the lane. So, you could have just walked to the left and check if she was retreating that way because she... It's a 50-50 chance that she's either teleporting away or walking away. And if she's walking, you would have caught her just by turning left. Let's see. Oh, yeah. Yeah, she's gonna teleport away. Bye, Drow. So, yeah, I think you understand yourself that you've just wasted entire 30 seconds and the rune and got nothing out of it. Yeah, yeah. That's why I advise, unless you have a 100% a free kill, do not do not gang side lanes, just focus, just, just get your orchid. Realistically, uh, with how you were playing 3 minutes ago, you could have finished the orchid by minute 10. And now it's delayed to minute 12 or 13. Yeah, yeah. Well, do you have any questions from this segment of the match? No, no, yeah. You already mentioned everything. Everything's covered, good. Uh, you just... I think you just missed an opportunity. If you glance at the minimap, what do you see? Um... The... What's draw this? in mid? Yes, draw in middle. And we know the trap is notorious, notoriously squishy. Yeah, yeah. So, what ideal you could have done? I mean, that's a bit risky, but uh, with the double damage you had, pretty doable. Even without double damage, pretty doable if nobody teleports. Is to teleport in, into the trees here, where you're unseen, and just do. A big enough jump into Drow, and most likely you'll get a kill. Yeah, okay. Look at her, she's so careless. So careless, man. Food! Yeah, one more thing, uh, what you're doing really, really well is you're, you're walking a lot, which means your man is always staying high. That's really good for Storm player. You got that yeah. down. This also means that in the situations where you can notice kills, like in this time, in this case, Trow in the mid lane, you always have full mana, you will have easier time getting those kills. Yeah, yeah. It's also good that you did, that you did not attempt to kill Trow here, because she's under her tower, she, will, she would have definitely received help. Uh, let's talk about the macro play a bit. Uh, so, so f uh, for now, what you're doing is you're farming top. Top tower is gone, so it's a dangerous lane. As a storm, it's good that you're farming dangerous lane. But yeah. what this also means that the middle lane is kind of unattended, which means Zeus is able to take runes. So if, if you spot a situation like this, you, you'll want to ask your position 4, position 5 or position 3 to take over the mid lane and keep controlling the runes. Or if, okay. it, or if you have another uh, ev evasive kind of hero like Storm that can take the interest farm, let them have this top lane and continue pressuring mid lane. Because your, your goal, besides getting Orchid, is to preserve your mid tower and take down theirs. Yeah, okay. Yeah, 
and that's all. That this target is really late. Yeah, it's already very late. You have spent around five minutes not being in the mid lane. As a storm, that's a no-no. Yeah. You should at least be present for the runes to take it yourself and deny it for Zeus. This way you can be a little bit more aggressive with the mana while farming because you know you will refill, refill it and, and, and Zeus, which is a really mana hungry hero, will also be denied the runes which, which will dampen his, well, capabilities. Dyer's middle tower is being attacked. Now with the Orchid you can see Spectra is bottom, Trow is bottom. <laughs> That's stupid, why, why, why are there two cores in the bottom? <laughs> okay, I digress, doesn't matter. Anyway, uh, if, if you see the players that are most dangerous to you, away in other lanes, just play more aggressive, especially with the Orchid. If you see Zeus, yeah. just champ him right away. There are three heroes in the bottom. You can also travel here, not teleport, travel here by foot and join the fight later. Oh yeah. You weren't that far away, you could have walked. This would have saved the teleport. But that, that, that's, a, that's a minor inconvenience. It, it, it's still a good play you did. Yeah. You've, you've turned around the gank, that's good. Just in the future for a bit more efficiency you can walk. Because with all this space we've just did, we've just gained, you would have teleported back to mid lane and knocked that tower down. Because they cannot defend, they are so weak. Oh yeah. Uh, one more thing, you were kind of running away from your team when you should have been running towards them. It worked out, but for the future. And as you can see, Zeus is using this opportunity to push middle because he did not have teleport. Yeah, okay. Understood. You can also, in the team chat, ask for the Mars and Necro to just help you take down the mid tower. Your team is ahead, you should abuse this ahead of the nest. Radiance middle tower is under siege. Okay, so for now you're hanging around the mid lane, the tower is protected, and the enemy tower is being threatened. That's all good. But with the orchid and Tony, you have infinite kill potential, so ideally, uh, you'll want to rally your supports, grab a smoke, grab a few wards, and just take over their jungle. Oh yeah. Of course, uh, taking down mid tower helps with this too, so ideal priority would be to first knock down the tower, and then take over their jungle. But either works. But what I see on the screen right now is you're the only one in the mid lane working towards that goal. Uh, three allies of your team are just wandering aimlessly in the bot lane. Yeah. I mean, I guess they want to take the bot lane tower, but it doesn't give them much space. So if you're noticing a better objective, let them know. Oh, yeah. yeah. Let's talk items. Why do you think uh, Yules is ideal here? Uh, the Viper, Viper and Viper and Draw. Yes, work it, work it, work it. You can use away the Draw. Oh yeah, half time. Sorry. You can use away the Draw. Half time. Uh, silence. 
Yeah, Drow's... The only case you have for building use is Drow's Silence. Wiper, as you can see from the network scale, is very poor. You should feel that in-game that Wiper hasn't been active much, so you know he will have trouble getting big items. So... Your only concern is... Drow's Silence. But you also know that Drow is kind of behind, she will not want to run with the team, she'll want to farm. So I, w I would think, I would logically deduce that Dr that since Drow's disable is the only thing concerning me, and Drow will not be the dominant player in the team fights, that Yules will not increase my potential much. So, what you could have opted for is straight away Bloodstone. Yeah, okay. Just based on the reasoning that you're snowballing and it's and the only offensive spell on their team, it's not of concern right now. Yeah, okay. How come your team isn't giving you any neutral items? Oh, there you go, my brain is cool. Oh yeah, I knew they take mid tower, so that's that's really good. I'll take that. Uh, let's talk vision. Ideally, as a storm with the three boards, you can always grab a ward yourself and place them on the choke points which mean this means that do not place ward here because that's the spot they're gonna check first you can place the ward around here around here or around here this will give you vision on at least one camp so if you're watching the minimap you will see on the minimap when someone from the enemy team goes to farm that camp and that's and if you're still hanging around the mid lane This should give you enough time to jump and kill said someone which is farming the camp easy pickups Yeah, okay like Zeus here Or drow here which you have noticed go on kill murder Oh, okay, Zeus was there. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Hmm. Might have wanted to do a jump with the orc instead of walking. Yeah, I thought I. I the. I thought the. Haste. Would have been good. Yeah, in this case, haste would have been beneficial if you had someone else with you to lock Zeus down. But uh, if you're not performing a jump, you're not amplifying Orchid's initial damage, so the Zeus will die slower and the enemy will have enough time to react. In this case, Ogre. Oof. Yeah, that was a bad play for me. Yeah, I guess you know what you did wrong, so I'm not gonna comment on that. Goodbye, mid tower. I will take a wild guess that the game goes downhill from here. Yeah, sort of. Your team had such a nice advantage. Uh, the way you could have abused it, you and your team, is by placing offensive vision and just hunting down their weak targets like Trow and Zeus. But because they had space in their jungle, they have recovered. Yeah. And went ahead. Dyer's 
bottom towers being Dire attacked. structures have been fortified. Dire bottom towers under attack. Why aren't you building yields? Oh, I changed my mind. I'm not the boss and the tower. Okay, nice. You, you, oh, heard, you, you heard my points and you changed and you changed your mind in, in, in the past. That's cool. Yeah, in, in this scenario what you're building is good. Because they are ahead now, so Bloodstone isn't as relevant. Having defenses is top priority. In this case PKB, which you are building, so all yeah. good on that department. <laughs> Dyer's bottom tower is under siege. Dyer's bottom tower has been destroyed. Dyer's bottom tower is being attacked. So, are they just gonna snowball to the victory from this point on? Um, I think we... I don't think... I don't think so much. I think this game lasts like 48 minutes. Oh. Okay, it's only a halfway point. I would have probably jumped Drow. Yeah, maybe. Since she, she used the silence, so even if the someone else joins the fight, if Zhao has used silence, they have nothing to lock you down. So, uh, worst case know, scenario, they, you just run away. They, they have a Viper. Viper. Um, Atos. Atos, yeah. As long as you don't see your Viper on the minimap, you, you can engage. Yeah, yeah. I mean, he's not near the mid tower. Is not near, so it's not like he can just pop, pop out of nowhere. It's possible, but unlikely. Well, anyway, necro misplayed, so I'm not gonna blame you here. Just listed, just uh, listed some options. Yeah, yeah. Again, you're doing everything good. You're pushing dangerous lanes. You see uh, the targets that can kill you showing on the minimap, so you're across the map. So that's good. You can you cannot be killed. So far, so good. It's just a shame that your team lost the early game advantage. Yeah. Hello, Wiper. Goodbye, Wiper. Yep, all good. Just play safe, farm up your BKB. Do some ganks. That's also good. Dyer's middle tower is being attacked. But holy shit, that's 8k advantage on the Radiant team, that's a lot. Yeah. And your own carry is fourth from the bottom on the net worth. Yeah. Again, the, what you're doing is good. BKB cannot be killed, you're focusing the harder targets. That's all great. Jump the Wiper, yes. Nice. Very good. With a total team wipeout, you should be looking to take Roche or the towers. And what does Luna do? 
Yeah. She goes hits jungle. Man, I'm pissed for you. This is textbook example of team holding you down, honestly. You could have played better in the early game, but at the moment it, the team is not doing too well. Uh, yeah. Stupendous. Ah. Oh, let's talk items again. Hex is nice if you are able to perform solo pickups against dangerous targets or there is someone you really want to disable like, like Enigma or Void or Faceless Void. In this game there is no such target so I would say just finish your Bloodstone to have increased mana region. Oh yeah. It's really nice, with the BKB you are impossible to kill. They don't have hard disables. It's kind of a free game for you. So hold up, who, who won the match? Them, we lost oh. this match. Okay, it's going back and forth now, you, now your team is ahead. Yeah, yeah. And this time at least Luna is pushing waves, not jungling, so that's... What what is this item build? My eyes! Holy hell. Where is Manta? Oof, okay. 32 minutes and only now the Safeline Tower falls. That is awful. Yeah. That's not aimed at you, that's aimed at your team. Okay, so far so good, everyone is pushing. This would be would be perfect moment to play some deep wards and do some pickups while they're recovering from the loss of lead. Champ is used, champ is used, champ is used, nice. Fall back, really good. Okay, I think your movements with Storm are really good. You got that down. Should have no trouble climbing. Good, yeah. Don't don't waste your mana on hard hard to kill targets. They're not even cores. Yeah. Okay. Let's, let's assess the information we can see from the minimap. Drow is alone. Why, why does she have Silver Edge? Why does everyone build Silver Edge? There's nothing to build Silver Edge against. Yeah. Anyway, she has, she has 2k HP, which means she's not very tanky. You can just buy dust, see that she is alone, and pick her off. As a storm, should always look for pickoff opportunities. She cannot do shit to you because you have BKB. She yeah, is yeah. dead. Especially when you have teleport, so just I would I would suggest teleporting back to base and do a big enough jump with the dust. She's dead. 
No one can save her. Well, what you're doing now is still a good is good a good alternative. You're forcing them to f fall back and defend this tower. It's a really it's a really good match uh, draft wise for you. Again, this Zeus is dead. You can jump jump and kill the Zeus. You have BKB. No one here threatens to kill on you. Oh yeah, but I, I was gonna buy the the vice side of vice. Yeah. Okay. We can always buy hex with that money from his corpse, though. Okay. That was unfortunate. As a star, whenever you're uh, re-watching your own replay yourself after a match, just take a note on potentially missed ganks where the enemy player was, for example, alone, you could have champed him. Yeah, and, yeah. Yeah, uh, and in, in this case, nobody could have stopped you. One more note in situations like, th like this where you know shit's about to go down do not walk here do not walk here f uh, f fill up your mana and perform a jump straight from the fountain uh, uh, yeah. you, you'll have more mana, you'll do more damage Okay, so far so good. Okay. Nothing, nothing to comment here, sometimes these deaths happen. You think you have a kill, but yeah. Don't. Neither team is attempting to kill Roche. That's interesting. Now don't go jungle, either go back to base or, pu or keep pushing. Also one more thing, you can see you have 30 seconds cooldown on a teleport and 3 of your team is dead. This means that they will, a good team will definitely try to invade your base right now, so you should be walking towards back your base. Oh yeah. These are precious seconds that you cannot help your team. Also at this point of the game just lose the wand, get the battle back. You could have jumped from this position where you are while bottling and join the fight and potentially kill someone with the jump. Oh yeah. Okay, okay. No, don't jungle. Did you just waste your entire mana pool on an ogre? <laughs> Oof, man. Oof. As soon as you are immune to being killed, in this case as soon as you pop BKB, just switch targets to someone more important. 
Yeah. If I didn't waste all my mana, we could have killed the, the... Oh yeah, this shit is the... game losing sometimes. Yeah. And we just walked past haste. Okay, you saw it. Good. Radiance middle tower is under siege. Dyer's bottom tower is under siege. Now keep going, she's alone. I didn't have detection. Oh yeah. <laughs> you can always just keep some dust and swap it with a bottle whenever we're yeah. back near ruins. Or we can also keep a mental note of when she has used the Shadow Blade. And. Oh, there we go. Dead. Nice. How did you lose this match? No buybacks? Everyone's dead? Uh, I think I made a mistake in the. Where the fuck is Luna? Yeah, Bitch. there's a problem. Bitch, what are you doing? Go fight! I hate this player. If Luna was there, it could have ended. Yeah, we... I know. Radiance bottom tower has been destroyed. Good jam. No dust though. Good jump, good jump. Oh, look at that. The ogre was coming to kill you, and you just bam, silence. Nice. Okay, teleport back to base. Yes, good. You know what I'm thinking. Yeah, but a uh, better position one, I think you could have easily won this match. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, I think your map movements are good, your jumps are good, your mana conservation as a storm are good. Everything I pointed out are like minor mistakes. Yeah, yeah. So I think you have potential. Keep playing. Anything else I haven't covered, which you might have inqu inquiries about? Inquiries? No, uh, yeah, I'm good, I'm good. Nice. Yeah, yeah they took Roche, they're gonna end now. Stun locked. Yeah, Abyssal, stun locked. Yeah, I was stun locked. Ah, oh, well, good game. Well, if we don't have any more questions, I think this concludes our session. Oh, yeah, okay, yeah. Maybe two weeks from now, I'll go get a paid session. Beautiful. I'm gonna try everything you told me. Yeah, J just keep playing, practicing, uh, thinking about the points I made. Uh, you should, you should have no trouble climbing. Good luck. Yeah. Okay.